this is the beginning of the Ridgeway Walk. Actually, you can start in Avebury, which has these incredible stone circles, 5,000 years old. It's the just starting on Ridgeway Walk, just started in Avebury. Absolutely beautiful place. It's about nine in the morning, so long before anybody gets in, long before any of the crowds parked in a National Trust car park. Um, pretty empty, to be honest. Beautiful morning. Got a couple of miles past Silver Hill before we get to the start of the walk. But um, it's good. It's a start of the walk from Avery Stones going up to Silver Hill. Uh, a mile. Clearly a well trodden path. Beautiful morning. Still a bit of mist up on the hills. Can't we call them hills? But a nice day. And as we come around the corner, we get Silbury Hill, the largest man made Neolithic hill, certainly in Britain. I'm not sure if it's in Europe, but incredible, absolutely incredible. 40 meters out of the ground. This is the Long Barrow. Silbury Hill is the other side. I came here when I was 10. My parents, it's the most amazing place I've ever been to at the time. A long burial chamber, incredible. So, still not at the start of the uh, Ridgeway Walk. This is just a uh, detour. So a two, three mile extra, four mile extra loop. And now we have the uh, official start on a car park on the A4 of the Ridgeway Walk. First thing is to go up Overton Hill and then from there it's just following the ridge for another eight to seven miles. about 10 miles in. Still an absolutely beautiful day, but we're going across the middle of Barbary Castle. Um, another Iron Age fort, there's a whole series of them apparently. Um, been a very easy, easy walk so far. Um, very well trodden, managed, almost a road really. Had cyclists people on dirt bikes, walkers, quite a mixture. But yeah, Barbary, Barbary Castle. Um, Iron Age Fort, and like a lot of Iron Age Forts, later on in the centuries, other people use them as bases for forts. But the uh, Ridgeway walks straight through the middle of it. So the ridge you can see behind me is actually the edge of the fort, the Iron Age Fort. Had a stop for lunch after 10 miles. Thought it was worth doing. As, as is the case with most paths, well to be fair the first couple of miles wasn't the case, but most paths, once you've gone 10-15 minutes outside of a car park or somewhere easy for people to get to, there's nobody there. So, lovely day. Not sure what mileage I'll do today. 
Um, it's only about 12, 1 o'clock. It's not that late. Two, three mile an hour. Anywhere between 15 and 20, I'm not quite sure. Most important thing today is just to make sure I've got enough liquid and go from there. Finally off the part of the ridgeway that allows motorcycles. Um, so just on a bit of the ridgeway that is cycle and walking. Heading up to those trees, hopefully there'll be somewhere to camp up there. Um, bit of a dark cloud above, but actually the rate the wind is blowing very slightly, that'll disappear. And we'll probably have quite a nice evening looking out down the valley. Classic English countryside. Right, well, I found a place to stay for the night. First place I found the actual path still allowed motorbikes, and there were quite a few motorbikes that came through. But this particular one, it is off the beaten path a little bit, but it gives me a fantastic view. It's not too bad if I spin round, still some dark clouds everywhere. Uh, this is my place for the night. It's okay. I'm going to get to look down the valley. I have to go through those trees in the morning. It's quite a nice view. There are some quite tough clouds. Finally set up for the day. Um, seen one cyclist go by in the last hour, so I assume everyone's sort of finished for the day. Um, it's a quiet spot. Didn't really want to go in trees. I was worried about bugs in trees. I'm out in the open. It's fairly breezy, so hopefully that will keep a lot of the bugs away. Um, just started cooking my evening meal. Um, let's see how that goes. And then tomorrow, uh, hopefully we'll do a similar. 19, 20 miles that we did today. Um, I'm a few miles outside Littlington. I uh, haven't actually looked at the route tomorrow, but hopefully it will be fairly simple. I mean, the actual route finding is very simple. It's just, there are some things on the way. I think there's a, a horse to see uh, in, the, in the hillside, um, but it was a good day. 